Hi, my name is Sally Gimmon, and I am the owner of the trustisyou.com in a podcast called Stop Paying Capital Gains Now with an exclamation mark. This is the second video because this is going to talk about the person who bought the HVAC company. I just did another video about the gentleman who was selling the HVAC company. He saved capital gains. Now I'm going to go over about what I'm doing for the gentleman. So the business broker brought the two together, uh, the Spendthrift Trust. So I can just tell you again, it's legal, it's patented, it's in the IRS tax code 643B, like Bravo. You're going to save federal taxes year after year after year, generation after generation. You're going to keep your information private. Your LLC, S Corp or C Corp does not do this. That's statutory law. And I can do a Freedom of Information Act and find out all your information. And then thirdly, you're going to stop paying any judgments if you get sued. I can't stop you from being sued, but you, um, the trust cannot be sued. So they trust, they sue the individual. The individual's worth nothing. All the uh, Everything's in the trust and they can't get to it. The old adage from Nelson Rockefeller, own nothing, control everything. That's where this comes from. So the gentleman who bought the HVAC business, he did take out a SBA loan. When he found out about the Spendthrift Trust, he know, uh, the cost of the Spendthrift Trust is $20,500. He's just like, what's that going to do for me in saving 1099 income? Now, when he's buying this business, there's 15 trucks, and currently they're doing about $76,000 in profit every single month. The gentleman who sold this uh, HVAC company started in his kitchen 16 years ago, did, did very well for himself. So I took $76,000 times 12 is $912,000 in 1099 income. The gentleman who bought the business is married and files jointly, so he's going to be at 24%. Went out to Nerd Wallet to do figure out these numbers. So his taxes on $912,000 for a full year. So again, we're talking the full year. So this is what we're talking about. He uh, he would be paying $205,680. I can legally say you will save at least 70% on your federal taxes year after year. Many of my clients, including myself, are saving over 90%. I can't tell you that legally. I can say 70%. So these numbers are low purposely so he can see if it's worth him doing this. So I took $205,680 times 70% which means he will save at least $143,976 every single year. Times that by 10 years. The gentleman who bought this HVAC company is 46 years old, so he will be 56 in 10 years. He will save over $1,439,760 in 1099 income because he bought the business spendthrift trust. Congratulations to him. The business broker who uh, brought the two together made $1,200. He told the gentleman selling the business to buy the uh, beneficial trust. He told the gentleman buying the business to get the business trust. By the way, the uh, the, the gentleman, uh, the, the business broker also has the business trust too because he gets paid in 1099 income. So everyone's winning, 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 winning. I want to help as many people learn about the Spendthrift Trust that I, who do not know about this. If your financial advisor, your CPA, or someone else tells you I'm lying, there is a textbook that trust attorneys study in law school. It is called Scott and Asher on Trust, fifth edition. You can get it at Amazon. It is a textbook. I found out about the trust back with a gentleman in my real estate group, uh, Garrett Gunderson, wrote the book, What the uh, Rockefellers Do. It is now titled, What the Billionaires Do. If the Rockefellers, the Carnegies, the DuPonts, and the Kennedys can save federal taxes, why can't Sally Gimmon and everybody else save federal taxes? My speech is happening September 12th at 4 p.m. You can register at www.thetrustisyou.com slash save, or you can just set an appointment with me even before then. You want to start saving money as quickly as possible. 1099 income, you will save a 1099 income earners, you'll save at least 70% on your federal taxes. Investors, you will no longer pay short-term, long-term capital gains, interest income, dividend income, rental income, and royalties. Again, my name is Sally Gimmon. My website is the trustisyou.com. Um, my podcast, Stop Paying Capital Gains Now. 
And I want you all to uh, please reach out to me if I can help you. Take care. Have a beautiful weekend. Bye-bye.